kitty cats. We're cute. But I'm cuter. Me, Me wow. wow. The super cats. One day, Cookie, Candy, and Pudding were reading exciting superhero comics. So cool! Look at Glow Kitty. He can shoot light in the dark from his eyes just like lanterns. And Fur Cat can instantly unleash the mighty power of Fluff. Yeah, but Lightning Cat's the best. Look at the lightning shooting out of her paws. Being a superhero is just so awesome. Uh-huh. All of them have some kind of super amazing power. Hey, why don't we play a superhero game? We could make our very own super outfits. And super names. And we can have super awesome powers, right? Super! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! And so the excited super kitty cats began making their costumes. Captain Strong! Cape Cat! Meow Girl! To, to the, the rescue! rescue. like actual superheroes. Superheroes have got to have someone to save, though. I could be the pretty cat in trouble, guys. You know, waiting to be rescued. And then one of you can save the day. Hey, hey that's, that's great. great! So I'll be the one to save her with Cape Cat's superpower of flight. Goodness, someone please save me! Horrible! Her dress will get all wet! Um... Ha-ha! My superhero, Cape Cat, thanks. Nah, this rescue is really a job for Captain Strong with my super-powered muscles. Goodness, someone please save me! A meteor's coming! It doesn't look friendly. Oh. <laughs> You're my superhero, Captain Strong. Wait, wait, wait! I'll be doing the rescuing here myself. I'm Meow Girl, and I can move things with my incredible mind. Goodness, someone please save me! Gosh, there's a fire. Mm. Oh, oh. Huh? Oh. Huh? Mm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> my superest <laughs> hero ever is Meow Girl. And plus, Cupcake is my friend, so I should really be the one who rescues her. We're all friends with Cupcake. Yeah, we should let her pick who saves her. Hey! Oh. I'm ready to be rescued, guys, anytime. I'm pretty scared of heights. Cupcake was playing the part of a cat stuck up in a tree. Cape Cat's ready to fly to the rescue, yeah! Rescue time! So you've been saved, Cupcake, you can come down. Wait, here comes Meow Girl. I will bring you safely back down with my Mega Mind. Rescue time, done, come down. Where's the fun in that, though? I'd look awkward climbing back down by myself. What kind of rescue is that? Um, none of us actually have superpowers. You know that, right? And so we aren't really able to save you. Oh, goodness. Guess I shouldn't have climbed up here, right? Oh. <gasps> oh. Oh. Goodness, someone please save me! Cupcake is about to fall on a cactus! Oh, no! Hey. Oh, no! <laughs> Good idea. Cookie, grab on tight to the tree trunk, and then Pudding, you just grab a hold of his cape and pull it as hard as you possibly can. Ugh. Uh. Jump for it, Cupcake! <laughs> oh, wow! You three just saved Cupcake for real! Hey, yeah! With the super thinking of Candy's brain... Hmm. Pudding's mega strong muscles. Hmm. And with Cookie's super cape. Ha ha! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. You're all my superheroes. Working together, we can solve almost any problem. Super! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Think you could save me next? And me! <laughs> it turned out working together was the kitten's real superpower. They were a real super team. The Super Kitty Cats. Kittens in a jam. Daddy always brought treats home from the candy factory, but today's was special. The candy factory just started making a new kind of yummy cake with special chocolate filling. Awesome! That sounds scrum delicious. Why don't we all give it a try, along with some nice refreshing tea? 
Mom took the cake into the kitchen to prepare the tea. Mommy! We'd really like to help you with something. Please, can we, Mom? All right, sure. You know what would really help me out? If you fetched me the raspberry jam. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The jam jars are on a big shelf down in the cellar. Huh? <gasps> the cellar! Mom kept all her pickles, jams, and jellies down in the cellar. Ha-ha! <sighs> <sighs> Why are we waiting? Let's go! Whoa. I'm okay! Whoa! There's a lot of cool stuff down here. Hey, what do we have here? Oh, mm, sour. Very, very sour. Um, mm, 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 bleh, this one's too salty. Gotta get rid of this taste. Um, ah! oh, mouth on fire! Hot, hot, hot! Oh. Whoa, I am not tasting anything else down here. We're not here to raid Mom's preserves. We're here to find jam. Right. Mom sent us down here to find some raspberry jam for her. How are we even supposed to find it? The jars all have labels. We just need to find the raspberry one. Um, this one says cherries. Cellar skis! <laughs> Giddy up, little suitcase. <laughs> this one says carrots. Hey, down there. What's this one? Cabbage, it looks like. And this one Those is... Those aren't raspberries. Oh. They're super duper hot. Well, of course they're really hot. The label says spicy peppers. Hey, look. There they are. Yeah, that's raspberry. Yay, we found it. But there's no jar with the label. Uh, then what we need to do is find a jar with a missing label, right? Nope. Nope, 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 nope. <gasps> yep. <laughs> Oh, now that's a lot of jam. Now we need to figure out a way to get it up to Mom. But the jar turned out to be really heavy. <laughs> Maybe we could put it on its side and roll it? Uh -huh. Tell me it didn't break. It's fine. All that's left for us to do is roll it upstairs. That's all, huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> We're really helpful helpers. It's almost there. Huh? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh. 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 Great. Now we have to start all over. Well, maybe we could just eat the jam down here. And then go upstairs and drink the tea. Uh. But if you're the other container, how will Mommy and Daddy get any jam? Oh. Oh. Then let's just bring the table down here and I'll have our tea and cake in the cellar. Excellent plan. I don't think I can wait much longer before I have cake. But the table turned out to be too big. We're gonna need a bigger cellar door. We're never gonna get tea and jam and cake at all. <laughs> I just had a great idea. We should put the table back in the dining room and bring some jam up in this glass. Cookie candy and pudding, my loves. You found the raspberry jam all by yourselves down in the cellar and then had the great idea to bring it upstairs in that cup. Yeah, that beautiful glass of jam is gonna look spectacular on the table next to our fancy new cake. We're helpful. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. The kitty cats had worked up quite an appetite on their adventure in the cellar, and the raspberry jam and special chocolate cake really hit the spot. The kitty train. One day, Mommy and Daddy took the kitty cats and their friends to the park for a ride on the children's pretend steam train. I'm driving, called it. And Pudding can be the coal shoveler, and Candy can be the conductor, then everybody else can be passengers. Let's go! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! You kids have a great trip! We'll be here waiting for you! Uh, maybe we have time to get a nice box of popcorn. Shovel in more coal so we can go faster! At first, Pudding had fun shoveling toy coal into a toy furnace and making believe it was the real thing. May I have your ticket, please? <sighs> oh. 
Shoveling coal is making me tired. And I'm bored with just checking everyone's tickets. Okay, why don't you be the coal shoveler and you be the conductor? Uh, can I have a look at your tickets, I guess? What? Again? Cookie, I want to have a turn driving the train. What? I can't hear you! Oh, yeah? Now, I'm the driver and you're the shoveler. Wait, I want to be the driver now. I've already been the conductor and the coal shoveler. Give that hat back right now! Pudding, give me that hat! I'm the driver! No, me! Give me the hat! Well, so whoever has the hat is the driver? <sighs> I dare you to try and take it! Took my hat. Fresh, yummy popcorn. Oh. oh no, now we don't have a driver at all. Speaking of the driver, guys, who is driving the train now? The train was approaching the station, but it was going too fast. Could we maybe ask Daddy to stop the train for us? <sighs> but it's going so fast that Daddy couldn't catch it. Getting there, getting there, I'm gonna do it! Or, I'm too slow. No! <laughs> what we need to do to stop the train is to use a parachute. We don't have a parachute, though. Any other ideas? It's too bad a train isn't like a bike, because on my bike, I just press the brakes and then it stops, you know? Yeah, yeah the, the brake, brake lever. lever! You must have been going very quickly to have your driver's hat blown off by the wind. Pudding? Hey, here you go. It's your turn to be the driver now. Hey, what about us? I want to have a turn being driver. And me. I have a really good idea. We can all take turns being the driver, all right? So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Choo choo choo! Oh, it's great to drive the choo choo of the tracks along the way. In our awesome, cool, true, blue, choo-choo train, what a perfect day. The train is really going, puffing smoke into the air. When they hear the whistle blowing, then they'll know that we are there. Choo-choo-choo! This time around, everyone had a turn driving the train. And Cookie had a great time just being a passenger and enjoying the wonderful view. Santa Claus and the Frost Fairy. One winter's morning, the kitty cats looked out the window at the melting snow. The snow is almost melted and the holidays are coming. Will Santa Claus still come when there's no snow anywhere? Well, I'm sure the Frost Fairy will make more. Santa Claus and the Frost Fairies have a lot to take care of preparing for the holidays. We should invite them to our house then, so they can both get all rested up and then make more snow and presents. Awesome! We're going to invite Santa Claus and the Frost Fairy to come. Oh, that's very sweet, my little darlings. Daddy and I will be very happy to invite them. <clears throat> right, yeah. As a matter of fact, I'll call them right now. Hmm. Meow. Santa Claus uh, is Roto. Oh. We're sorry everyone is busy making gifts and snow right now. Please call again later. Happy holiday hugs to you and yours. Uh, I got their machine, but it sounds like they're very busy indeed. Come on, tell us! Are the Frost Fairy and Santa coming over? Well, uh... uh... Yes, they're coming soon. Both of them, tonight. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! If we can't get a hold of them, then we'll just have to become the Frost Fairy and Santa Claus. That's a great idea, my darling. We'll be needing costumes then. Oh. oh. But the store was almost out of costumes. I'm worried this costume might be a little bit small. And that one looks like it's way too big for me. 
This could be a problem. The kitty cats were very excited to greet Santa Claus and the Frost Fairy. bigger in real life. Well, I have to admit that I do love holiday feasts. Oh, just like our daddy does. <laughs> hey, you laugh like our daddy as well. Well, up in the North Pole where we come from, everybody laughs just like that. <laughs> Why don't we have a lovely cup of tea? Now, please be careful. It's hot. Huh? Why did Santa Claus's voice sound just like our mommy's? Oh, that's because Santa Claus really likes cold drinks, not hot. Hot drinks make his voice sound high. <laughs> Let's all do a bring on the snow dance. What do you say, everyone? Snow dance, yeah! And then it will start snowing again! <laughs> it looks like they didn't recognize us, darling. You look really great with this braid. Maybe you should grow one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Santa Claus, you're dancing around like you've got a lot of energy there. It looks like you've probably had enough rest now. Does that mean that you'll be able to make it start snowing more outside again? Um, snowing? Oh, what? Ah, get off me, Beard! Hmm. Hey, that's really our daddy! Yeah, and that's really our mommy! I knew it was really you guys all the time! What did you dress up as Santa Claus and the Frost Fairy for? Uh, the real Frost Fairy and Santa Claus were too busy to come over this evening. I think you guys are the coolest Santa Claus and best Frost Fairy ever! <laughs> Everybody, look! It's starting to snow! Looks like this is what Santa and the Frost Fairy were so busy with tonight. Making fresh snow for everyone! So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Kitties! By the way, Santa Mommy... And Daddy Frost Fairy... Might have something in the sack for you to open! Daddy and Mommy Christmas had brought little gifts for the kittens which they all enjoyed whilst the snow fell outside, making a kitty cat winter wonderland. The goldfish. The kitty cats have been asking their parents for a pet. You can open up your eyes now. Oh, oh wow, it's, it's a, a goldfish. goldfish. She's easy to look after. Just feed her and make sure she has clean water. I think that you'll manage. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> we need to make certain we take proper care of the fish. We need to feed her. Let's give her a lovely piece of bread. Nah, huh? that's not really taking care of her. We need to feed her something that's really yummy. The kittens brought the goldfish a piece of Daddy's cake. Here, fishy. Hope you like it. No, oh. wait! Uh. You can't put whatever you want into the aquarium. This is her special food. Fish really don't eat much. She just needs a little pinch of fish food. <laughs> I could stand here and look at her for hours and hours and hours. It's nice out. How about taking a break from the fish and playing outside for a while? Can we take the fish out with us? Sure you can, but you need to be very careful with her. The kitty cats had called their friends over to their house to see their new pet. I think that it's beautiful. She's really, really good at swimming. <laughs> Do you think that I could feed her and take her for a walk? Me too, guys, me too. Hurrah! Boris, you've had long enough. It's my turn. 
<laughs> oh, the fish is looking a bit sad. Maybe if I read her a book about sea creatures, she'll feel better. Here's an octopus, and this is a blue whale. All you'll do by reading that is make her feel homesick, Pudding. I'll make her feel better. <laughs> happy, happy, happy fish! Huh? Maybe she's hungry? Whoa! All gone! I know what's wrong. Remember, Mommy said the fish only eat a little bit. And we gave her an entire thing of food. Oh, that poor fishy. No wonder it's not happy. Imagine if someone threw that much food into your room, kittens. <laughs> oh, and this water needs changing. Water to a fish is the same thing as air is to us. Just imagine if all the air where you're living got filthy all of a sudden. <laughs> Ew, the air here smells just horrible. You're right. It really isn't fresh at all. I don't think the three of you are ready to take care of a pet yet. So I guess I'd better take the goldfish back to the store. No, Mommy, wait. Please give us another chance. I promise that we'll take care of the fish properly. We'll just give her a pinch of food, not too much. And change the water every day, promise. <laughs> well, now it seems your fish is feeling much better. And this rainbow arch is for her bowl to keep her nice and happy all the time. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! That's how the goldfish became part of the family, and how the kitty cats learned to take care of her properly. A muddy good time. Cookie, Candy, and Pudding were so happy to discover that the snow had finally melted. We've been waiting for this. And it's finally here. You mean the sunshine? Nah, the new seesaw's here. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Dibs on first try, yeah! <laughs> no! Watch out, Cookie! The new seesaw was in the middle of a big puddle of sticky, icky mud. Just think how muddy and gross we'll get if we try to walk across that. If Daddy were here, we'd be just fine. He'd pick up the three of us and carry us over there. But Pudding, Daddy can't help us. He's at work now. Oh, huh? Hello? Oh, that's right. I'm at work at the factory. Hey, let's use stilts to walk across the mud. <laughs> Better suggestions, Cookie? Well, we could also sail across the mud on something. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> What'll we do? Hey, I know how we can get across. It isn't deep. Take a look, boys. Some rubber boots are all we need to get across it. Now the kitty cats had smiles on their faces and rubber boots on their feet. But Cupcake and Smudge wanted to get to the new seesaw, too. Come on, Cupcake! Watch out, Smudge! I won't look as beautiful if I'm covered in mud. <gasps> Meow! Yucky mud. Candy, would you like to try it first? Yeah, thanks, Cupcake! Oh, this is gonna be so much fun! Just please make sure you don't splash mud on my boots. <laughs> 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 oh no! There's mud everywhere! It even got on smudge all the way over there! <laughs> don't laugh! Look at my dress! And my shirt! <laughs> hey, Pudding, don't cry! I'll clean it off with puddle water! Unfortunately, adding water just made more mud. Now I'm even dirtier! <laughs> Well, since we're all 
already completely dirty. I say that it's mud angel time, guys! <laughs> Cookie, I'm sorry, but that is just gross. Guys, Mom is gonna be so upset that we got our clothes this dirty. It's not our fault that there's mud. Well, maybe we should wait for the mud to dry before we play outside. How long is that going to take? Uh, I think it should be dried out by summer. Oh, wow. Looks like you had a really good time. We're really sorry that we got all covered in mud. But don't worry. We've decided to stop going outside. At least not until summertime. You're not going outside until summer? <laughs> oh. oh, Mommy. You're just as muddy as us. True. But a little mud never hurt anyone. But isn't your dress ruined now? Not at all. Just a little dirty. But the washing machine will clean it all right up. Hooray! Let's hear it for the wonderful washing machine! <laughs> yes, clothes can be washed, but getting them dirty on purpose isn't great. You could end up sick that way. So we don't have to wait inside till the mud dries? Of course not. Going outside is good for you, even when there's mud. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! That's when Daddy came home. At least they thought it was Daddy under all that mud. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> the car got stuck in the mud, so I had to get out and push. All this mud makes the kitty cats look more like piggy cats. <laughs> the washing machine cleaned their muddy clothes right up. <laughs> then they headed back outside for more family fun. And no one minded getting a little bit grubby. Daddy Daycare. One day, Mommy was getting ready to go and visit her friend. Daddy will be taking over for me today. So try to be good, all right? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. What exactly does that mean? Dad taking over from Mom? Will he put on a pink dress and grow his hair all fluffy and curly? Huh? Oh. Hey! Oh! Ow! Ow! Hey! Oh! Ow! 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 No! 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 Or will he try to take all of Mommy's fitness classes at the gym? <laughs> None of that. What it means is that instead of Mommy taking care of us, it'll be Daddy. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Daddy, wake up! Hey! You're mommy, Daddy, all day long! Uh, yeah, all right. Come with mommy, Daddy. Daddy made the kitty cats their favorite eclairs. That's so good. It's so much better than porridge. It's nice when Daddy fills up for mommy. Uh huh. <laughs> Ah, and now let's watch TV for a while. Oh. As we enter the 38th hour of the Snow Geese Migration live stream. Um, Dad, don't you have some other things to do? Uh, wait, what? If you're really supposed to be doing what Mommy does, uh, then you should make lunch. And wash all the clothes. And then vacuum the entire house. Uh, does Mommy really do all that? Oh, wow. Okay, then. <laughs> the kitty cats turned on their favorite pirate show, while Daddy made pizza for lunch instead of Mommy, and put all the dirty laundry in the washing machine, and tried his best to vacuum the carpets. effects are great. You can practically smell smoke for real every time they fire their cannons. That's not the show. Something's on fire. Whoa, what's that about? The laundry room is filling up with bubbles, guys. Um, Mom? Wait, it's not Mom, it's Daddy! Daddy! Now what? Oh! Oh. There's something burning in the kitchen! Oh. And the laundry room's blowing bubbles! Oh, gosh! Stop! 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 Uh, 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 the pizza! Oh, hot, 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 hot! Oh, oh. <laughs> huh? 
Oh, I'm such a dummy. With the cleaning and the washing, I let the pizza burn. Mom's chores are a whole lot harder to do than they look, huh? This will make Mommy so upset. <laughs> I have a really good idea. Since the chores are really hard, we should help Daddy with them. With the kitty cat's help, Daddy managed to get everything done properly. <sighs> Mommy, Mommy, you're, you're back! back. <laughs> Meow, have you been watching TV this entire time? No, Mom. We helped Daddy clean all the dirty clothes. And vacuum stuff. And cook the yummy pie, too. Super Daddy, you not only kept the kittens entertained, but you did all of the housework? <laughs> Oh, well, isn't that what you'd expect from an excellent daddy like me? It was like daddy had turned into mommy. Everybody had to help me be mommy. <laughs> <laughs> well, in that case, I must have turned into your daddy, because he never comes home without something yummy with him. Strawberries, yay! So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Daddy and the kitty cats had a fun day pretending to be mommy. But everyone was so happy when the whole family was together again. Aliens! One evening, the kitty cats were over at their friend Chase's house. Every evening, I look up at those stars. I hope someday I'll spot a real UFO and get to meet some real aliens. But no one's ever found a real alien ever. Oh, yeah, I know. Kittens, time to head back home. Thanks very much for having us. <laughs> Who knows if aliens will ever visit Earth? They sure haven't come here yet. I feel bad because Chase really wants to meet aliens. What if he waits forever and then it doesn't happen? Forever's a really long time. I feel bad for him too. Why don't we pretend to be aliens for Chase and tell him we come from a planet way out in space? Great idea. Think how excited he's going to be. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The next morning, the kittens dressed up like they were from a distant planet. They put on hooded raincoats, headbands with antennas, and cool sunglasses. Oi! One second. Thanks for your help. Hey, shouldn't our voices sound different? If they don't, Chase will know who we are. Salutations from space, Earthling. We are aliens from the faraway planet Catavius. We come in, uh... In peace. No way! Real aliens? Awesome! Oi! I've been waiting for you to come. Guess you learned our language. What language does everyone speak back on Catavius? It sounds like this. Meow, 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 meow. That's really funny. Tell me something cool about the planet you come from. Hmm. The gravity on our planet is so strong that everybody there must bend over and walk four-legged. We also use four legs to climb up crazy space trees. And if we do ever fall down, we land on all four legs every single time that we fall. And sometimes beams of light appear, and everyone tries to catch them. It's the favorite sport on our planet. <laughs> what a fascinating place. And now I'll tell you how we all live. This is a rocket to fly into outer space. And this is a swing. This is a ball. Chase told the kittens many things that they, of course, already knew. It's a pillow for us to put our heads on when we're sleeping. This is a clock. Its job is to tell you the time. This is a telescope, a present from my dad this morning. And this is a book. It has pictures. We were supposed it's to be back home me. for lunch. It's we're late. Yeah, yeah, but how can we leave? I've got a really good idea. Here's the way to open a window. And here's the way to close one. And this is... Thanks very much, Earth Creature. But we must depart now. Otherwise, our, uh, spaceship will just take off without us and we'd be stuck. You guys really have a real spaceship? I have to see it, please! Run! Hold on! I'm coming! We're 
Where's your spaceship? Is it really cool? <laughs> oh, no. Chase will know it was us all along. <gasps> we just didn't want you to wait forever to meet your aliens. That's why we pretended to be aliens ourselves. Chase, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I knew it was you guys all the time. But it was completely awesome. Why don't you come over later tonight? We'll look at all the stars through my brand new telescope. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! This is the fish constellation. And this is the big cat constellation. These four stars are its tail. See? The kitten saw that outer space is so beautiful that you look at it forever. All of us can gaze at the stars and imagine. Sunday. Early one Sunday morning, Mommy was going to the gym, leaving cookie, candy, and pudding at home with Daddy. Uh, uh. I'm off to my exercise class. Have a nice time. I'll take great care of the kittens. Will you be all right without me? We'll be just fine, Mommy. Yeah, we're never ever bored with Dad. Yes, you're right about that. Bye, my loves. Hey, Dad, let's play some chess. And darts. Uh, all right, my wonderful children. It'll be Dolly's Chess and Darts. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. But hmm. where was Daddy? Come on! Hello. Are you going to play with us? Yeah, I'm coming, my beautiful children. to try on all these pretty new dresses. Mm -hmm. Here, I've got the chessboard. I'll be white. Mm. Magnetic darts. Here, Dad, just hold the board. Sounds like tons of fun. Okay, here we go. Hooray. Oopsie. <sighs> oh, no, Dad's gone back to Sleepy Town. So the kind-hearted <laughs> kitties let their hard-working mm. dad have a well-deserved nap. Sort of. Wakey, wakey. Tickle, 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 tickle. tickle. Oh, Tommy Rob. Mm. How are we ever going to wake him up? Mm. I've got a great idea that just might do it. Oh, Daddy, water you sleeping for? But pudding, <laughs> if he gets all wet, he could catch a cold. <laughs> well, we could find something super crazy, massively loud, and put it next to him. Oh, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> but, Cookie, that would probably give him a horrible scare. How, How should, should we, we wake, wake him, him then? then? Maybe we just shouldn't. Why don't we all be nice to him and let him have his nap? When he wakes up, he'll have lots and lots of energy for playing games with us. Good, Good idea! Meow, 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 meow. Nighty night. Mm. So do you think he's slept enough yet? Not mm. quite yet. And mm. now? Well, I guess he might have. Can't really tell. Mm. Then shouldn't he be waking up? Stand back. I got this. Hello? If they ask, I'm in the factory doing a toffee inspection. Nap time. <sighs> I've got an awesome idea. When yeah. Mommy sings me lullabies, I rest way better. Why don't we sing yeah. Daddy one? Quiet kitties, Dad's asleep. Please don't purr or make a peep. Tired Daddy, close your eyes. So, 
I see your playing with Daddy wasn't boring at all. Wake up, my sleepy heads. Mom's here. Oh. Uh-huh. I'm 100% awake, rising and shining. <laughs> hey, get up, kids. Oh, can't we sleep just a bit longer? Because it is Sunday, after all. Well, I suppose. Just keep on sleeping. But me and Daddy will be having an awesome time outside, tossing this wonder disc no around. No way. <laughs> this is going to be fun. <laughs> what? You got us a wonder disc? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Whether taking a little nap or playing together, Sunday is a wonderful family day. <laughs> a whale of a time! One day, Daddy wanted to take a picture of a great big whale to enter in a wildlife magazine photo contest. So the whole family went out on Grandpa's boat. <laughs> Okay, big smiles. Hmm. Yo ho! Ha <laughs> ha! Are we all ready for an ocean adventure? Oh yeah! Me wow! Me wow! Me wow! Me wow! Giant whales! Come on, it's picture time. Hmm? Hmm? Huh? Oh, I'm hearing things. Oh, I'm not feeling very good. Oh, no, Pudding. It looks like you have seasickness. What does that mean? Seasickness? Is Pudding going to grow a tail like a little fishy? Hi. Huh? Ah! Or maybe Pudding will just turn into a cup of ocean water. Uh -huh. oh, I don't want to become ocean water. I already feel sick. Cookie, Candy, please stop scaring your brother. Seasickness is just when someone gets an upset tummy from rocking on the waves. Hey, Pudding, you just need a distraction. Why don't you try to catch us something yummy to have for lunch? But if you catch a big whale, be sure to give me a yell. Fishing helped Pudding feel much better. Whale! Whale! Uh, uh, I was too late. Candy was helping Mommy get ready to serve lunch. <gasps> Looks like you should probably feed these hungry seagulls, or we'll be left with no lunch at all. <laughs> Yay! Uh... Oh, I missed my chance again. <gasps> Cookie went to the bridge to see Grandpa drive the boat. <laughs> the thing to remember is to hold the wheel steady so the boat stays right on course. Cookie, here, give her a try. <sighs> ha! This is great! I'm really driving the boat, Grandpa! Huh? <laughs> The thing to remember is to hold the wheel so the boat stays on course. Suddenly, the weather changed and the wind rocked the boat. Oh, oh goodness! Oh! Uh, uh, Whoa! Oh, I missed him again. Uh, uh, cookie! Uh, I just keep holding the wheel steady, okay? Uh, I won't let go! Uh, Oops! <laughs> Soon the wind died back down and the boat stopped rocking. Uh. Oh! Ah! Now that was a peaceful nap. Looks like the ocean stayed peaceful then. Yay for Captain Cookie! Wonderful driving! <laughs> okay, big smiles. Oh, I think I've got one. Oh! Har, big smiles, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Take
Taking a photo of the whale was much harder than Daddy expected. But with the help of the whole family, he got a better picture than he ever could have imagined.